they're moving forward with some development there. And where's this at? So this from? is right past Scout Bar, but before you get to the towers. Oh, you know, they, there's, yeah. yeah, there's a grass area basically so on the water. Th- that's yeah. that's actually. I mean, there used to be the old Mamacitas was there. The the old uh, you're talking about by Itch- Ichiban, Ichiban. Yeah, but but on the water side. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 Mamacitas yeah, so. was across the street. You know, on, on you know uh, you know kind of uh, on Igor Bay, kind of where the fire station. I know is what now. you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. There is a new strip center going in in between. That's what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. Right. I know there's new development because so, it's actually. I mean, they're moving on it now. And, and I've I read something about. It. I actually don't have that in front of me right now, but I know that's something that's happening. In Webster. Yeah, that's actually going to be a big deal. Now, the big, big deal, the the deal that my son is excited about that's coming to Webster, and although, well, and it's actually kind of on the water, I guess, but it's water-related anyway, and that's the uh, Great Wolf Resort. Great Wolf Lodge coming, uh, coming, coming, uh, you know, there's actually one up in kind of the Dallas area. Before we get to Great Wolf, let's just touch on two things, because Great Wolf's going to be like a whole deal. (laughs) So, yeah, so... Um, moving forward, there's another area where there's uh, it's it's the lake neighborhood that's right across from the other uh, Mamacitas. Oh, 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 Edgewater, Edgewater. Yeah, so yeah. I just sold the house there. Literally closed uh, a week ago. Yeah, they're building new houses in Edgewater. They're finally going to go back to the canal, the Clear nice. Creek Channel, where they had planned to eventually. Right. Uh, they're not going to have a marina like they, you know, but there will be some water access back there. There's a couple other houses that are developing, so that's kind of Webster's last little waterfront area that they're they're. They are making a move on. They're kind nice. of getting some houses put in. Um, and then just to touch on the space, if you guys know about Fry's, Fry's just became Axiom, which is a big deal. They're involved in the whole space. Yeah, yeah. Thing. So uh, Axiom uh, Aerospace, uh, they're they're one of uh, probably one of a number of space startups that are based out of this area. It's actually the the you know the the guy that was head of the uh, the NASA ISS, the International Space Station for NASA, for many years. Him and another guy that was like the uh, deputy director at Johnson Space Center, and then a lot of other people. Actually, a uh, former NASA administrator, Charlie really Smart, Charles, people. Charlie yeah. Bolden's actually uh, he's he's one of the board of directors. So some of the top former NASA people, you know, especially down here locally, have formed Axiom Aerospace. And of course, one of the things they're working on is a private space station, right? But they've they've also they I mean they just I, I know they recently did a, a deal with SpaceX where they did some space tourism you know and they they've got a number I think they've got a couple other contracts with NASA now let's just say they're heavily oh, they're, heavily contracted they're right exploding. now exploding like, yeah. I mean they're hiring they're, I, I think uh, I I think I when I last time I checked out their in uh, their uh, is it Indeed the the employment page yeah I think it's Indeed yeah I think they're like they have like more than 150 positions available everything from rocket scientists to people in PR to HR yeah whatever, yeah, yeah I mean wow. you know I mean it's but uh, the, yeah so An they're uh, building and they're building another building yeah they're building the, at the at the at the at the Houston Spaceport Houston right off Space Center Boulevard kind of back in you know Clear Lake City you know kind of on the other side of Ellington not the Highway Three side but the Space Center or Boulevard side, you know, the kind of right near the uh, the buoyancy lab, the Sunny Carter buoyancy lab, where the big underwater pool so, is. So it's water related, yeah, because yeah. They got the big pool there, <laughs> right, and that's right. kind of the edge of the water related community. That's yeah. the edge of Clear Lake. That's yeah. kind of what you know. You're getting out of that water yeah. community at that point, but that's still right there. You but know? what you're I mean, referencing, yeah. uh, speaking of Webster, is that they also just took over the old fries, right? You know, uh, yeah, that's what monster, I was. Monster, monster uh, facility that's got a mock up. Of the international, of the space, international station space station, in it. Station so that makes sense it. that they're yeah. making a private one. Right. I mean, that's yeah. really cool. So, so that's a. Uh, I love that a space company took it over and it didn't get you know ripped out and turned into something you know like I, I don't know what they would have done, but it, it could have went a million ways. I'm glad short, the way that it went. Short yeah. of maybe some kind of cool convention center, I oh, couldn't dude, think of. I, I, I really don't know. I, I thought, think I of, thought anything of everything. I'd, yeah, yeah, I couldn't I, think of anything I'd rather see there than an aerospace company. Uh, no, it worked out great. Yeah. And the last thing before, because we're talking Webster guys, and we've actually yeah we're. we're touching a lot on webster um the only other thing it's not water related but i feel like it is pretty much because everyone that hangs out at the water bars around here and me and john are just cheerleaders of the area as john always <laughs> says and we do like to drink yes um and john used to run the uh you know official tourism you know uh fun bar you know restaurant magazine around here so McIntyre's, a huge development, and this is going to touch close to home for a lot of people around here. I actually worked there at one point. Everybody I know that's been a kid has gone there and had a good time. Putt-putt golfing games, which this was one of their flagship locations surely over the years between go-karts. Coach Coach Sachs owned it. Yeah, yeah, between bumper 
bumper boats, go karts. I mean, changing up different things over the years. They Those evolved. Lay, it evolved. Tag. It started out, yeah. Oh, started dude, out I mean, miniature golf. So then, it, then, they, is, then they got into the arcades, and then the go- then the cars, when and they the batting cages, the, and, the, the the road there. The, the, the yeah, the it kind of took away uh, some of it. You know, yeah, they, they had to change. Yeah, and, you they, know. they had to evolve and pivot. But you they know, redid over the time. whole building. They expanded. It was amazing. Yeah. Um. So they they sold because of COVID, and you know, it was it was the right time to get out. But that has been acquired. They're making some major changes. A place called McIntyre's, which is a huge bar in Houston. I think there's maybe maybe two other locations. They started with one. This is maybe their third. This could be their second. But this is their location on this side of town and probably their only. These are big places, meaning there's probably only going to be three or four McIntyre's in Houston. Like, it, it's a big deal. Uh, that place is going to – I think something in here was touching base on it. They're going to uh, – it talked about the square footage. Oh, uh, let's get to Webster. Well, that's a big spot. Oh, dude, yeah. So, yeah. So, this is at 806 East Nassau Parkway, a 13,000 square foot indoor space. Uh, I don't know what the square foot was on the old putt-putt. They're making some changes. But 13,000 square foot indoor space, 22,000 square foot dog-friendly patio. Nice. So, oh, wow. the, the whole basically putt-putt green, the, the, the miniature outdoor. golf course – they're essentially turning into a twenty-two thousand square foot uh, dog dog park for oh, people to nice. drink and have a good time. So, oh. wanted to give them a shout out. Like I said, yes, me and I'm glad John you did. Have, have I, got, I, I forgot about that. I'm glad you reminded me about We're that. We're working our way down. Yeah, I was yeah. like, let's not forget uh, McIntyre's, uh, the Edgewater development, yes. and Fries. Before you know, we move on to. What John was going to talk Great about. Great Wolf because, Lodge. Wow, here we go, yeah, dude. Yeah, I'm 300, uh, 30 oh acre site, 350 jobs in the first uh, year. And this is water related it's for two be, different reasons. It's going to be 400,000 400, square foot entertainment and lodging space. 400 million square yeah, foot. No, uh, no. Uh, 400, 70, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I, and that's why I had to read that. I had to look at that. No, I'm like just a, kidding. Yeah, yeah 75. <laughs> 75,000 indoor water park and 10,000 square he feet. He said water, center. guys. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, my, my son, so uh, my son, my son's nine now. Uh, just he likes nine, water parks? Loves water parks. <laughs> and we've, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've, we've traveled the state. I mean, we've gone water parks in San Antonio, Corpus. I mean, yeah, uh, I've heard Galveston, about some of these trips. Baytown. Yeah. I mean, you know, basically any water park around here, I've been to it. So, I wasn't uh, invited. But, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but, um, but uh, he he's wanted to go. We, the one the one we haven't gone to is Great Wolf Lodge, and and I think it's it's in the Dallas area. I don't think it's actually technically it's one of the cities, like not maybe not Arlington, but you know um you know. I don't so know, I'm actually McKinney really familiar. Or something. It, it's Grapevine, yeah. Oh, so, Grapevine. Yeah, okay, so okay. they've got the Gaylord Texan on Lake Grapevine, and then right across from that in Lake, uh, Grapevine, the town it, it does an awesome Christmas thing, and it's an awesome little community just north of the airport, kind of in central Dallas between. Um, Dallas and Fort Worth. But yeah, it is the Great Wolf Lodge. That's their only other one in Texas. And it's not on the water, but they've got this huge, massive water park. And uh, I've never been there, but I've seen it. I've heard good things about it. And uh, this apparently is their, they've had like, you know, one stage, two stage, three stage, four stage. This is like their fourth stage. And so this is, I think, going to have the the, definitely the largest water park, not, maybe not in Texas, but the largest great. It's bigger than the one in in, in Dallas. I, I think you know. And, and it, there's it, some new upgrades. I think I I think I remember. It's like a generation four. I think I remember somebody maybe suggesting it might be the largest indoor water park in. Well, maybe for sure in Texas, and because the other one, there's two other ones. Okay, but but I don't know. It could be bigger. Yeah, but they said this is like well, four hundred thousand square wolf feet. Lodge. <laughs> so this is the biggest Great Wolf they have built. Wow. I think, in the okay. Country. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's you know, it. Yeah. How that compares to other brands, I don't know. But right. this is their flagship Great Wolf Lodge. Wow. Yeah. Uh, they were super excited. They they just broke ground on this. They dug the shovels into the soil. We're talking less than a week ago. Yeah, yeah. I think this was like a fr- Thursday, Friday, Saturday event last week. Yeah. That's, I mean, they, they had all the big wigs out there. Uh, Webster's excited. Yes. Um, my girlfriend's uh, grandma actually used to work for the city of Webster, and I get a lot of inside information on the history of Webster and kind of the developments over the years. I mean, she worked for, you know, somebody there for many, many years that, uh, you know, was involved in all that stuff. And so it's it's really unique. And, yeah, I mean, she is just uh, stoked to see something like this happen. Webster in general, everybody, the economic development, oh, yeah. uh, sports and tourism. I mean, uh, anybody that's involved with hot tax, I mean, that everybody's excited. So, yeah, no, no yeah. It's a very exciting development. Uh, my son was definitely stoked. Well, dude, we got it. We got to get him in there. Yeah, man. no, we're, we're we're there, uh, man. It's gonna be you know yeah. a year and a half or so, I'm sure. But I think they they have pretty ambitious plans. I think they're they're planning on 
you know, I don't know what the, the, the finish date on that is, but they're, they're, they're moving forward. Like I said, they broke ground. Uh, and that's right behind Top Golf Guys, situated right on Clear Creek, right on the line between Webster and League City, kind of separates. Right. That's Harrison Galveston County. Harrison Galveston County, Harrison too. County yeah. even yeah. over there, right? So the yeah. creek yeah, se- the creek, yeah. creek separates, yeah. So we're talking this is Webster's big waterfront development. Um, you know, and I don't know if Great Wolf Lodge is gonna touch the water, but you will be able to see the creek and, and it, you know, um and there's other stuff going on over there too. So that brings us to the next thing, which is called uh, oh, well, flyway. Well, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, so, yeah. do you got some information on flyway, John? You know, actually, I don't. I I, I know what, I know what you're talking about, and it's going to be in that same kind of general area. And this has always been. I I know that there were very ambitious plans for this piece of land. Probably, I'd say about five years ago. Um, oh, they, yeah. yeah. They've yeah. talked about that just as this with this area in Webster and there's a and an area across from it in Leak City. Yeah, which these we'll have get to. both been, which we'll get to. Yeah. Big, um, it, yeah, kind of areas that they've wanted to do something with for a lot of time and and it's not really panned out. And so now they're both like really moving forward. Well, I know the uh, the people behind the the the, the newer hospital uh, right on Highway Three, not clear like regional, but now it's UTMB. But before that, it was like a. God, I forgot what it was called, but it was another. It was a, it was a, it was another hospital. They were really, you know, behind uh, developing uh, what was really promoted as just an insane development that was going to be a cross between the Woodlands, um, uh, you know, pavilion with a mu- music venue, you know, like five or six restaurants. I mean, just you know, all kinds of. You know, just just really ambitious development. You know, some of the renderings were just crazy. I mean, you know, and, and of course I was all for it because if, if I could see a concert, you know, here without having to drive to uh, the Woodlands, which I consider some South Dallas. Some engineering or architecture yeah. firm got paid a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, a lot yeah. of people for, made money. but uh, something fancy that yeah, didn't that never happen. <laughs> yeah, and that, that happens. But, uh, but yeah, so now it's uh, the flyway, which they kind of, you know, the flyway, they refer to that one part of the, the NASA bypass. You know, they, Next they to kinda, the Great American they, Furniture Store. Yeah, they named it yeah. after John Young, the astronaut who actually lived here in Alago. Uh, okay. You know, was, uh, the uh, pr- probably the most accomplished American astronaut of all. Um, but uh, yeah, so that w- so that's the flyway area in Webster, and they've got some very ambitious plans for it. And then right across the Clear Creek, you know, creek from it, you know, in League City, is the Riverview at Clear Creek development. Uh, right at Wesley Drive and Golf Freeway, and if you're familiar with uh, La Brisa, the Mexican restaurant, right off, kind of right off the freeway behind the other restaurant that was, it was Sudi's originally, and then uh, more recently, uh, gosh, what was the name of the seafood place? It was, um, it was a seafood place. Now I think right now it's actually um, it's it's unoccupied, but the um, the this is in Leak City. Now we're talking about the Riverview at Clear Creek Development. It's a 59 acre development. Uh, they've already started on the marina infrastructure, so it's going to have a marina. It's going to have a loft hotel with 150 rooms, restaurant overlooking the marina, a 285-unit multifamily project called the Riverview, 53 townhomes, an amphitheater and trails, retail space, and restaurants. And uh, I'm looking at some of the renderings now, and it looks it looks really really sweet. Uh, and actually, even better than the renderings is looking at kind of the uh, Basically, the uh, the survey, um, or at least the planned kind of rendering of 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 the of the footprint, I'll, I'll call it. And uh, you know, and this is on Clear Creek. And of course, you know, I remember back when there's there's been a number of different plans for developing along Clear Creek. Uh, uh, I remember one point, you know, probably say 15 years ago, uh, there was plans on putting basically what what was kind of. Uh, look like something similar to what you see in San Antonio with the river walk that was going to be on Clear Creek, uh, you know, off, you know, kind of back there, but, but more, a little further east in League City, uh, closer to, uh, actually, I think that part was going to be between Highway 3 and, uh, Eager Bay off, off 518. So, uh, but no, the, 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 uh, Riverview at Clear Creek, uh, 59 acres, uh, you know, marina, hotel, restaurants overlooking the marina, uh, 285 unit multifamily project. And there's already some, uh, multifamily, uh, pro- you know, some, some, there's, there's some really kind of newer looking, uh, uh, housing there, right? Kind of catty corner from La Brisa. But, uh, so, but they have some really ambitious plans for that stretch of Clear Creek right along the, you know, I'll call it the Leak City coast of, uh, 
the south the <laughs> south coast of uh Lee City's huge, yeah. dude. Oh, like, Lake City's, I mean, it's it, amazing. From, it goes from Clear Lake Shores all the way to Friends. To-